Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk doing a quick maths video on the introduction to Markov chains. And uh, in order to understand this video, you guys should have some experience with matrices. In particular, you know what a matrix is and you know how to add and subtract and multiply them, etc. So make sure that you go through some matrix or matrices tutorials before attempting this question. So uh, I will start off with a question and I'm going to show you how to do it without using matrices and then I'm going to show you how to do it um, with matrices. So the question is, assume in an ancient civilization a man's profession can be classified as farmer, trader, or other. So there is no other uh, way that you can be classified. Okay, if you're a man, you can you belong to um, one of these three categories. Okay, so assume that of the sons of farmers, eighty percent become farmers, ten percent become trader, ten percent become other. Okay, so let's say you are a farmer. So I'm going to write down, this is you. You're here, you're a farmer. And then your son, okay, your son, uh, you can think of as um, you only have one son or you can have many sons, it doesn't matter. But however many sons you have, okay, 80% become farmers. So 0 0.8, you become another farmer. 10%, um, you become a trader. And then another 10%, you become other. Okay. And then depending on which one you are. Okay. Let's say your son is a trader. Okay. Let's say your son is a trader then his son can either become a farmer or a trader or other again okay and then it's again um, you have to look at some of these categories so uh, it says that if you are a trader okay 60% become traders so you need 0 0.6 um, over there and 20% become farmers so you need another 20% there and 20% um, become other alright so but if your first son is a farmer then it's again 0 0.8 farmer 0 0.1 trader 0 0.1 other okay and then if you uh, if your first son is other then um, you can become a uh, farmer, trader, other again for your uh, grandson. So it's uh, if your if your son is other, then um, your son, your son's son, or your grandson is going to be uh, fifty percent other, twenty five percent trader, twenty five percent farmer. Okay. This is what it tells you. Okay, so let's say you are the farmer, okay, which is uh, what this is saying here. A random chosen grandson of a farmer is a trader. What is the probability that a randomly chosen grandson of a farmer is a trader? So I'm going to look through all these possible uh, options for your grandson and look for the ones with a uh, trader so it's this one this one and this one now how do I get the probabilities I have to multiply them so I have to go uh, 0 0.8 times 0 0.1 is the probability of you uh, having a trader as your grandson um, then uh, the probability of you having a trader as a grandson will be 0 0.1 times 0 0.6 and the probability of you having a trader 
as a grandson, if your first son is other, then you have 0 0.1 times 0 0.25. So all of these three probabilities, we're going to find them first. So we have three probabilities here, and if we add up the total probability, then um, we go 0 0.08 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.025, and the answer is 0 0.165 is the answer. Okay, so this is okay um, to do when we only have um, three options and we only have, um, I guess you can say, two uh, stages. Right, what if, for example, I rephrase the question with 10 professions and um, I have, for example, 10 generations, right? It's going to be far too big to try and do it with a tree diagram. So we have something called Markov chains where we make up what we call a transition matrix. And we also have something called the state of the system. Now the state of the system you can think of as how many farmers, um, traders and other professions we have right now at this moment. And we write it as a vertical matrix so we can think of as the number of farmers, the number of traders and the number of other people. And um, you can think of, right now, the question says, uh, we only have, um, we're trying to find a randomly chosen grandson of a farmer. So let's just say we have currently one farmer and we don't have anyone else. We don't have a trader, we don't have anyone, any other people, we just have one farmer. Okay, now let's work on the transition matrix. So the transition matrix basically tells you all of this information, right? 80%, if you were a farmer, 80% become farmers, 80% of your sons become farmers. So um, the way you write it is like this. So you write uh, farmer, trader, other, farmer, trader, other. And if you are currently a farmer, the probability of your son becoming a farmer is 0 0.8, the probability of your son becoming a trader is 0 0.1, the probability of your son becoming other is 0 0.1. All right. And then if you are currently a trader, so the top, you can think of the column headings as from and the row headings as to. Uh, okay, so currently if you're a trader, then your um, kids, your children, uh, the probability of you becoming a farmer is 0 0.2. Um, 0 0.2 become farmers. Uh, 0 0.6 become traders. And 0 0.2 become other. Okay, and if you are um, originally an other, okay, then uh, to uh, for you to become a, a farmer, then it'll be 0 0.25, uh, 0 0.25, uh, 0 0.5. Okay, so you can see um, vertically all of these probabilities add up to 1 so the total would be 1 right 0 0.2 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.2 is 1 0 0.25 times 0 0.25 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.5 is 1 okay so you should be able to check that once you have a transition matrix Okay, so hopefully you guys understand uh, matrix multiplication. Uh, you can think of the state as the input. Okay, the input is the number of farmers, traders, um, 
other occupations we have and we're multiplying the transition matrix which you can think of as the operation we're conducting on the input to give us the output matrix which is the next state so if you call this state 1 then to calculate state 2 you would multiply the transition matrix by the state by the previous state so you have the row multiply the column okay so it'll be 0 0.8 times 1 plus 0 0.2 times 0 plus 0 0.25 times 0 so you don't add anything so it's just 0 0.8 okay actually let me just write 0 0.8 so um, it'll be a bit easier okay so that's how many farmers we have okay then we do the second row 0 0.1 times 1 0 0.6 times 0 0 0.25 times 0 so I'm going to have uh, 0 0.1 will be a trader and then uh, subsequently um, 0 0.1 times 1 0 0.1 will be other okay now let's repeat putting this as the input 0 0.8 0 0.1 0 0.1 this is now state 2 and we multiply by the transition matrix again uh, probably don't need the multiply sign there um, 0 0.1, 0 0.6, 0 0.25, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5 okay multiply by state 2 and then we will get state 3 okay and that's going to be 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 actually let me write this out now because it's going to be a bit bigger alright let me use a different colored pen so 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.1 plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.1 and then the second row okay uh, 0 0.1 times 0 0.8 second row times the the only column plus 0 0.6 times 0 0.1 so we're adding up the products uh, between the second row and the the first column so 0 0.25 times 0 0.1 and I'm not going to repeat the I'm not going to repeat writing out the third column sorry the third row I'm just going to assume you know what you're doing so this times this and then the answer is 0 0.685, 0 0.165, and 0 0.15, which are our, which is our amount of farmers, traders, and other occupations. And if you match this up with our probability tree okay we got 0 0.165 earlier okay which is the same thing as this middle element of our matrix which says that 0 0.165 uh, proportion of uh, your grandsons uh, will be a trader so this is a very brief introduction to Markov chains. Hopefully you have learned something today. See you guys next time.